Hi, this is Bart Polson, and I'm going to demonstrate how to compute a series of univariate statistics in StatCrunch. First thing you need to do is get to the website and sign in. I'm going to use a data set that already exists on StatCrunch, so I'm going to come up here to Explore and click on the triangle and select Data. I know which data set I'm going to use, so I come over to Browse All, and I'm going to use SurveyF08.xls. I've used it before, so it comes up as soon as I type an S. I press Search, and it's this data set with the barber on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compute some statistics for height, haircut, study, work, and salary. I do this by going to stat, summary stats, and columns. The reason I'm using columns is because these organize the words one column per variable. For rows, it's one row per person, and I don't want to do an individual analysis. Correlation and covariance could be used for other analyses, but that's not what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to use stat, summary stats, columns. A dialog box comes up and I can select the variables that I want. I can select one and if I hold down a control or an option key I can get some others. I'll put study and work and salary. And by the way the variables come up in the order that I click on them. Uh, in a moment I'm going to show that's important. This one where it would let me select for instance just women or just people who work less than 20 hours a week. Uh, and this one let me organize it, uh, for instance, compare women and men or those people who um, are in different sections in the uh, data set. I'm going to click on Next so I can choose the statistics that I want. Now this set over here, and mean, variance, and so on, is the default set, but those aren't really the ones that I want. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the left side where it lists the statistics, and I'm going to start by clicking on N. Now this is one where you can click on more than one statistic, but you need to do them uh, by holding down the Control or Option key. And they come up in the order that you select them, and for me that's important. The first thing I want is the sample size, so I know how many scores we're dealing with. Then I get the mean and the standard deviation, because those are... Uh, two of the most common statistics that go into a, a bunch of other ones that we use like correlation and regression and t-test and analysis variance and so on. However, I also like to describe the entire distribution with what are called the five number summary. That's the minimum score or uh, then the first quartile, the second quartile or the median, the third quartile, and then the fourth quartile or the maximum. And so I'm going to click on those in order. I start with the minimum, then I go to the first quartile, then to the median, then to the third quartile, then to the maximum. So you see I had to click on them out of order to get them in the correct order over here. It makes life a little simpler uh, afterwards. Then, I, oh by the way, this one percentiles, if I wanted things like the fifth percentile and the 95th, so I would have the range for the middle 90%, I would enter them uh, right there. But I'm not going to do that now. I press calculate and I get a table that looks like this. The column is the name of the variable. I have height and study and work and salary. The N varies a little bit, 75, 4, 76, and 69, because not everybody answered every question. You come down here, for instance, and you see that there's somebody here who didn't answer height. That's the mean. It's given it to way too many decimal places, uh, given the data. I would reduce it to two decimal places, and I do that not in StatCrunch, but when I paste it into either Excel or Word. Standard deviation, again, too many decimal places. Um, and then we have the minimum, which I sometimes call Q0, the, the lowest quartile, Q1, which is the 25th percentile. The median, also known as Q2, or the 50th percentile, means half the scores are below and half are above. Q3, three quarters are below, 25% are above, and the maximum. Um, 
what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to export my results as univariate statistics for four variables. Okay, and that's that one. What I do next is I would paste it into Word and modify it. I'll show that to you in just a moment.